Hello there. I hope that wherever this video finds you, you find our devotion uh, to be uplifting and encouraging today as we continue with our theme of being full. We've heard about being joyful, and today we're going to continue with our reading from 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, where Paul writes, Be joyful always. Pray continually. I thought it would be appropriate to share with you two prayers that have brought me great joy in the recent years. One and one, so a lot of pressure here on this first one. And goes too strong. Three-point game. Fourth goes it down. Five seconds. Tires for three. So the pass is going to come from Rivers. He rifles it right in front of us to Abdul Rahman at midcourt. Extra pass. And it goes for the win! So there you have it. Two examples of prayers being launched. But uh, why do I share this with you? It seems that to me, if it's true in basketball, that uh, it's true in life. Where there is time, there is hope. But to take it to a spiritual level, I'd also say that where there's hope, there is prayer. That prayer is a natural expression that that's just flows from the hope that a person has. Now, what makes these shots, these prayers in basketball so thrilling? Isn't it that we really don't expect them to fall? We expect them to doink off the back of the rim, uh, maybe be an air ball or even get stuffed by the defender. Uh, that's what makes these uh, shots so incredible. We don't expect them to go in. So often these kinds of shots fail. So how is it that God can encourage us to pray continually when so often it seems like uh, I either don't pray enough or I don't say the right words. Uh, I want to do anything but pray continually. And that's where we got to bring it back to the ending. Uh, to start. And Pastor Siebert reminded us, this of, reminded us of this on Monday, that our prayers can be put forth continually because of Christ Jesus. Because of what Jesus has done, we have sure hope. He lives. And because he lives, we too will live. We know that our sins are forgiven. We have a right relationship with God. And so we can go before our Heavenly Father with confidence. You might say, the shot was made by Jesus and victory is ours. But just because we have victory doesn't mean that it's going to be smooth sailing all the time. And that's where Paul's words to the Romans uh, can bring us some encouragement as well. We know that suffering produces perseverance, that perseverance produces character, and that character produces hope. And he goes on to write in chapter 12, let your hope make you glad. Be patient. And there's that element of time again, isn't there? Be patient in times of trouble and persistent in praying. So we have that connection again, time, hope, and prayer. Where there's time, there's hope. Where there's hope, there'll be prayer. And right now is a great time to pray. Every time is a great time to pray. So I leave you with Paul's encouragement once again. Pray continually because of what Christ has done for us. In Christ Jesus, we have joy, peace, and confidence. God bless and keep you.